my name is Nirali and I'm a second year medic at Plovdiv Medical University. So I'm going into my third year of medical school and I've decided to start a YouTube. Um, the reason for that is because it's something that I've always wanted to do for quite some time and when I was in the process of applying for medical school there was not that much around on social media in terms of studying abroad in Bulgaria and um, there were very limited resources and so I thought I'm going to start vlogging my journey. So my journey to medical school has been a long journey. Um, like everyone else in the UK, um, I applied for medical schools when I was in sixth form. So I left sixth form in 2013 and I had applied for five courses, um, three foundation medical degrees and two biomedical science courses. And I left school with BCB in biology, chemistry and maths. Uh, I did have offers for the biomedical science courses, but I got rejected from all of my medicine courses. Um, this was before I even had any interviews. So I was obviously very devastated, uh, devastated about that, but I wanted to go to university. It was something that I wanted to do. I did think about taking a gap year, but however, I decided to know that I will do a BSc and then apply for graduate medicine. So on results day, unfortunately, I found out that I hadn't made it into any of my universities that had given me any offers to study biomedical science. However, I called up a few universities through clearing and managed to secure a place for a biomedical science degree at Coventry University. I started university um, September 2013 and graduated in 2016. During my third year of my biomedical science degree, I decided that I'm going to apply for graduate medicine courses. So I decided over summer, prior to my third year, um, that I wasn't going to go on placement year and um, I decided to do work experience to build up my portfolio a little bit um, before I applied for medical school. So also during my final year of undergrad, I decided to apply to the University of Nicosia in Cyprus and I was fortunate, to, fortunate enough to secure a place to study there. I have been rejected by all my UK medical schools um, by March 2016, so I then proceeded to apply to study in Cyprus. So I did get accepted into Cyprus, however, due to financial reasons, I was unable to attend. I then decided to strengthen up my portfolio a bit more by applying for a master's programme at Birmingham University. So I decided to study for the Trauma Science Masters. While studying for my masters, I also did apply again for UK medical schools. However, for some reason, I was unable to get a place. And I did ask for feedback from a lot of the universities and they basically had told me that my UK CAT score did meet the threshold that the university had. However, due to the limited amount of spaces each graduate course has, they were unable to offer me a place. The universities I had applied for had probably around 20 to 50 spots and over 3,000 applicants. So I kind of decided that, okay, maybe I will take a year out after my master's finishes and then possibly reapply again. So coming to the near of my master's degree in 2017, I decided to take a year off to just experience life. I decided to take a um, take. I decided to apply to several jobs as a medical laboratory assistant and managed to secure a place at my local hospital, working for the doctor's laboratory. And it was one of the best things that I did. I think I just needed to take a break from the stress of applying to medical school and just generally education. And it was one of the best things that I ever did. You know, I managed to travel during that time. I made. Um, so many different memories and kind of had like a stress-free life that year. So whilst I was working, I also applied for medical schools in England and for medical schools in Bulgaria. In February of 2018, I had received all my rejections from my UK medical university. Again, I did ask for feedback and again, the same reason was that I kept getting outcompeted by people who had done just slightly better than me, although me reaching Although I did reach, you know, the UK CAT threshold, I had all my, um, I have a very strong portfolio, but unfortunately I was unable to secure a place. So I decided to go ahead and apply for medical school in Bulgaria. 
studying medicine abroad has always been something that I've known since sixth form because I had a friend who applied to medical school in Bulgaria at that time. I did some research on a bunch of agencies that could help me with my application um, for medical schools in Bulgaria and I found three agencies. Out of the three agencies I had discovered, I decided to go with MedConnect Europe. So the main reason I decided to choose MedConnect Europe was after doing a thorough research on the three agencies I had discovered, MedConnect Europe was first of all quoting me the least amount of money. The other reason I chose MedConnect Europe was because it is run by students who have actually experienced the application process as well as the relocation phase and that was a very big thing to me because I didn't want to pay someone a lot of money and just basically be left stranded in a country. The other reason is the constant ongoing support the team has. So MedConnect Europe actually has a specific team in each country so that if there's any needs that any students have they can be met by the agency. All I did was fill out MedConnect's application form and I supplied them with a bunch of documents so passport, certificates, um, my undergrad certificates, my master's certificates, um, provided them with all of that and basically they just did all the work for me. The main bonus about studying abroad is that there's no interviews at any of the medical schools in Bulgaria. However, there is an entrance exam which is what I was nervous about the most. I decided to only apply to one university in Bulgaria which was Plovdiv Medical University. So the main things you need to apply to medical schools in Bulgaria is your biology and chemistry A levels. Now they must be at a passing grade, so basically anything from an A to an E grade is accepted in, in those two um, qualifications. Now the second thing that you need is you need to sit the entrance exam in biology and chemistry. At Poptive Medical University they offer four sitting dates for the exam, I think June, July and then two in September. So back then I decided to sit the September sitting. So the university has its own ranking system and they also have their own scoring system. So in order to be considered for the final rank, you need a minimum score of 24. But I think the highest score that you can get is 36 and I managed to get a solid 30 points to be accepted into Plovdiv Medical University. A little bit about the entrance exam. Um, there's a biology paper and a chemistry paper, very easy. I know it's easy for me to say that, but I was so nervous about the paper that when I actually sat the paper, it was it was fine. It was nerve wracking, but I managed to pass and score high enough to be considered for the ranks. MedConnect is amazing in the sense that they will provide you with free resources that you can use to study for the entrance exam and there's also a bunch of past papers that they'll provide you with. If you also have a look on the university's actual website, they also have a bunch of other documents that you need to submit your final application and your agency will help you with all of that. So they will ask you for certain documentation that you need to provide in order for your application to be submitted. So this year, because of coronavirus, the university has decided to do the entrance exam online and they have also introduced more dates as well as the ranking um, the final rank of all the admitted students will be released on the 9th of September and that will be published on the university website directly this is going to be a short video however in the coming weeks I will have a few videos out so keep an eye out for in-depth reviews of what first and second year of medical school at Plovdiv Medical University is actually like and if you want to support my journey through medical school then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below or message me through all my social media platforms all this information will be provided down below in the description